How can archaeological data from the deep past, let's say 12,000 years ago, be useful today to managing marine ecosystems? That's today's story on the Thank You Ocean Report. Over the last couple decades, it's becoming increasingly obvious to archaeologists, to historians, to resource managers, to marine biologists that to develop effective management, restoration, management in marine ecosystems, we need to start looking into deep history. Todd Bragy is an assistant professor of anthropology at Humboldt State University. And one of the main reasons is that, that we had human populations in the past prior to the Industrial Revolution, prior to globalization and colonial expansion that were having impacts in some cases on these ecosystems, both terrestrial and marine. And so if we're going to develop, set a baseline for what's a healthy ecosystem, we need to start looking into deep history and looking how these ecosystems were changed and affected by not only natural climate change, but also humans into the deep past. For many years, Todd and his colleagues have been conducting systematic excavations at a variety of sites in the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary and National Park. Some amazing discoveries have been made. We felt up till a few years ago that we had a pretty tight story about uh, when people first got there, how they got there, and, and sort of what happened in terms of cultural evolution through time up until historic contact in the Spanish period. And just a couple of years ago, that story kind of got turned on its ear, and we started to find this new kind of marine hunting technology, small stemmed projectile points and crescents, so sort of half moon shaped projectile points. Some of them are eccentric in nature, so they have sort of legs. One is shaped like a bear that we found out on the islands. This technology, to our surprise, dated back to about 12,000 years, a little bit before. So people on these islands very long ago with a really sophisticated maritime hunting technology. And an incredible amount of specific information can be found in an archaeological site on these islands. It can tell us about the sizes, the abundances of shellfish and fish and sea mammals, their biogeography, their behaviors. Were they breeding on these islands before humans moved out there? Were they breeding elsewhere? Were they breeding on the mainland? It can tell us all that sort of information, and it could tell us the average sizes and ages of things. And this is just one example of how this information might inform resource managers. One of the major fisheries in this area is the rockfish fishery, which has been severely impacted in the last few decades. If we're going to help that population recover, well, what were the average sizes and ages of rockfish that were being taken in the prehistoric past? And can that give us any clues on if and how these populations are recovering? So this is the kind of information that really comes from people living on the Channel Islands thousands of years ago, which can help us manage these areas today and into the future. My thanks to Todd Bragy, and we'll talk with Todd again on another Thank You Ocean Report. Remember, the ocean takes care of us. Let's return the favor. To find out how, please visit thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.